All right, welcome back to my uh, YouTube page. We're going to do today um, my rotors. I have the Paragon two-piece float rotors with pads and steel braided lines. So we're going to try to do an install on this today. It's the fluids I'm going to be running. Titanium backing plates, pads. Got the good bridge brick lines. And of course, the rotors itself. So, we're going to try to do the install here and see how it goes. I was going to wait on a buddy of mine to use his lift, but I'm kind of tired of waiting and I get anxious and want to do stuff on my own. So, we'll see how it turns out. But the car's coming out pretty nice. I don't know if y'all seen the updates. Right, I have the new Mugen garnish, the lips, the side skirts, the visors. And I got the wheels. Um, I did the delete with the new wing. I already got this side jacked up. So I'm going to do one side at a time for that route. And once I get to the bleeding process, I'll figure that out, I guess. Right now, I'm just going to put the rotors on and see how it goes from there. All right, so I got all the uh, wheels off. I got the whole car. <laughs> inspecting it. Not crazy rubs. Look how I'm slightly rubbed. Maybe right there. And then that looks pretty good. Alright so I'm gonna go ahead and start the install on the brakes. Go ahead and pop everything through and then I'll do the rest of the rotors and pads after the fact that I pump all the fluid I need. I don't get it. risk of getting on the new brake pads and brake rotors. It's like pretty good quality stuff. A lot of people highly recommend these. These are the updated ones. I understand you know because it has the silicone between here and there and when it screws into here it's a shorter um, it goes in shorter and don't stick out as uh, much Right rear tells you front. Left rear, so these are your rears. shorter I was talking about right there. It doesn't stick up as I think the oil stuck up further. Further out so right here. 
brackets. I have four brackets. Two bolts. That's what you should have. All right, so I'm gonna take this bolt here. This bolt down here. And break it loose from up there to put my line in. Okay guys, so I tried to get this right here off with a 10. I even went and bought the special tool for the brake line. It still wants to uh, ring out, I guess you would call it, or uh, round off the uh, bolt. So I had no choice but to put some vice grips on it. So it's a pain in the ass, honestly. Um, it kind of sucks that it's that cheap. But um, I'm probably gonna end up cutting this out and maybe putting a better one up in here down the road and see how this holds but just fyi a warning you know that even with the proper tool it still might round out i even put vice grips on the uh, tool which it looks just like this but it's rounded and uh and there's not really nothing you can do Unless you don't want to put steel braided lines on, you can just keep it stock. Okay, so I finally got it off from here. My bracket, it'll go something like that in there. Same way you take it off, basically. It slides up. Back in there, the screws in top. Side goes back into it. You can see it's not right here. So, a bit here, but I didn't mess with anything on this side. It's all up on this side right here. So, I'll show you once I'm done. Okay, so on the rears of the steel braided line, obviously, it's this one in back. into it 10 millimeter and then there's one I have if you can see it the bolt 12 millimeter that needs to come out to get the line out all right so I got the lines on we're about to do a bleeding sequence which tells you to do front side passenger driver side passenger and then rear passenger and then rear driver and then we're gonna bleed from the good side to the out i got my buddy ali in there helping me take this rotor off and the brake so what I'm about to do is some light right here there's that bolt right there and I think it's a 18 and 19 millimeter bolt right there on the bottom this will come out you have to kind of let it hang on this um, it's just a solid brake line 
Alright, we got the um, Goodrich brake wires in. And I bled everything. Finally got all the air out. So now I'm about to change out to the Paragon rotors and pads. So this, you also got to knock these pins out. Here and here. Clip comes out. First line out the way. And rotor comes off. see but go ahead and put the pins back in got the new brake pads from Paragon on it I'm gonna take this last bolt out can't see it in the flashlight like a lug nut to kind of hold it in place we'll put it back put the, the bolts back in and start tightening up snugging up and do the rear okay so I'm at the rears now um, there's a screw that's in here and you kind of have to get one of these as you hammer it it turns I don't know what you actually call it but stick it in there hammer it and it'll start twisting out because it's hard to get out had to put a little WD-40 around it to break it loose it finally came out same thing right here your rotors are going to kind of probably see so you have to bang on a little bit to uh, break it loose off the hub and then i got the bolt started out right here if you can see it off my hand and one back here i might have to do and then it'll just slide off you put your new pads rotors back on and vice versa reverse it Put it back and uh, we'll see what it looks like once I'm done. And the front is already on. I finally got this on. And I ain't gonna lie, it was, a, it was a pain. It was really tight on this one. All the other three were pretty easy to go on. This passenger rear was pretty hard. I had to work it back and forth a little bit. So if I know an easier way, you know, leave it in the comment. But 
felt like this um, I pushed it back as far as I could inside I don't know if this electronic actuator was stuck or something maybe but other than that it's on it took a while sheesh I'm about to go test it out here in a minute thanks for watching